Hello my lovely friends. Welcome to my channel Creative Art. I am Dilima and in today's DIY we are going to make this easy and beautiful plate wall decor. So friends, please do subscribe my channel to watch more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notifications for each video I post every week. All the materials required to make this beautiful plate wall decor are mentioned in the description box below with the links from where you can also buy them and they are also shown in the video. To get this image, tease it as a reference, please to click on the link www.creativeathome.com which is my website. So enjoy this DIY friends. Friends, let's quickly check out the materials for plate decor. First of all, we are going to use a plate as a base. I'm going to use a white color plastic plate. You can also use a glass plate or a ceramic plate. That is completely your choice. Secondly, we are going to use fabric glass colors which are water based and available in 10 shades for the coloring part and for the designing and lining part. We are going to use 261 metallic gold camel glass liner. Other than that, you can also use 262 metallic silver glass liner or as the bronze glass liner. And if you don't have glass liners, especially for the plate decor, you can also use Camel Fabrica Cone Liner which has acrylic paint inside it and you get the same type of liner from Fevicryl also. And finally friends, we always use a Camel Picture Varnish to varnish our plate decors, okay? Friends, first of all using a glass liner pencil, I'm going to draw my design on plate and then we are going to start the lining part. And friends, if you're not good in drawing, you can simply copy the template from my website and what you have to do is you have to place a carbon paper this is a yellow carbon paper on your plate then place my template on it and then secure the side of the plate with the carbon paper and the template using two side tape like this and go all over through the design using a pencil or a pen okay so friends this is the drawing of a rose i have made on my plate for this time you can also trace the design as I have given the link of this template in my description box below. So now friends, we are going to start the lining part using 261 metallic gold camel glass liner. Horizon, turn us to thousands and we'll grow in number fueled by them to see the horizon turn us to thousands I'm going to complete the lining part and then I will show you how does it looks okay so now friends this is how our lining part looks when it is finally completed and it has also got dried up as I have kept it for a day to let it get dry so now friends we are going to start the coloring part and for that we are going to use fabricryl glass colors which are water based and available in 10 shades first of all friends we are going to color the rose and we are also going to do shading for that we are going to use a light pink color in which i have a mixed white and pink in equal quantities and this is the dark pink color in which i have mixed pink and brown a little bit okay just a little bit of brown and red to create this kind of dark pink color other than that, we'll also need white color for shading and red color for shading. So these are the five colors we are going to use for the rose. First of all, I'm going to use a red color. Before coloring, you should always wait for a clear drop of color to come so that there are no bubbles present in your painting. Then I'm going to use a pink color. For shading, I'm going to use a light pink color. Now I have used pink and then I'm going to use the red, mix them just a little bit to get the darkness and a shading. Same I'm going to do here, I'm using red and now I'm using white, mix red with white and a shading will appear. Now I'm going to use a light pink color and use white, mix them both to create a little bit of shading. Now I'm using a dark pink color. Now I'm going to use a combination of color red and pink which has given me this color. So I'm filling it up in the border of the petal first and then I'm going to use a white color over here which we will mix with this color. 
same color combination we are going to repeat in this part but this time we are going to use white in more quantity in case there are any bubbles remove it with the help of a cotton bud or a pin the same i am going to do over this part i am using white color first and then just a little bit of reddish orange then on this part i am going to directly use this color combination of red and pink in this part also we are going to get the same combination of red and pink light bit of dark pink color over here then again use the same combination in little quantity okay and then mix it using white and to use dark pink color in this part then we are going to keep this part white as possible and add just a little bit of light pink And I'm using the dark red color in this part. Then use white. Then for this petal also we are going to do the same. Use the dark red color on all the edges of the petal first. Spread it just a little bit and then use white. Mix both the colors. Put it through this part. Now we are going to do the same with the pink color. First of all, we will pour pink color on the edge of the flower petal and then use white, mix white with pink. And now as you can see in the flower that this edge should be a little bit more dark. So use the dark pink color and give a slight hinge on just the curves of this petals. Okay? that will bring out a natural look more better and you have to do this before the petal gets dry and the same can be done on this dark pink also I'm going to use the dark red color here in this part and then also use the dark pink color to give the shading so this petal is going to be quite dark here I'm going to use a red color, dark red, and then use white and it's Love the shading part which appears because of it. Give a light pink color over here, post with some white, and then we will also place pink color over here. Then use light pink, and then finally, and then finally use white. Okay, so the coloring of rose is finally completed. We'll keep it like this. In the same way, friends, we have to color this bird but as you can observe the plate is the plate has a curve from here so you have to be very careful while coloring it so that the color may not fall on each other and get mixed up you have to be very careful i'm coloring it from the upwards to the downwards here i have used the dark red color and after that i have given an overlap of dark pink color now here i'll use pink color and then overlap of a dark pink color. I really love the shading part in rose. That's why I try to give the most of the rose a shade look. Using light pink. After that I have used dark pink. And this part also I used dark pink. Not let one color mix up into other. Which will destroy your painting. Yeah. If there is any excess you can remove it using a cotton so friends after coloring the rose and the bud now we are going to start coloring the leaves and for the leaves we are going to use three colors which is parrot green color green color and dark green color for making the parrot green color i have mixed equal quantity of crystal green and yellow color 
and for making the dark green color i have used equal quantity of crystal green and black color okay so my first step is using light green color on the edges of the leaf then i will use crystal green color mix it with the light green color you can observe there is a little bit of curve in this part of the leaf so the color is going down and then finally use the dark green color and mix it with the crystal green color so this is the shading of the leaf which we are going to do in all this leaves okay the same thing no i don't want to waste what's left first use the bad green color in the edges of the leaf then use the crystal green color mix it with the bad green and then finally use dark green mix it with the crystal green so I'm going to do the same thing in all the leaves, okay? Then use the dark green. Now for coloring the bud tip, I'm going to use the dark green color here first then the crystal green and then finally just a drop of just a drop of light green okay so now friends my coloring part is finally completed so i will let it get dry and then i will show you how does it looks okay now your friends our coloring part has got dried up completely and this is how it looks you won't believe but as it is summer now so it just took three hours to dry completely and yes this is how beautiful it looks but you can observe while coloring we have lost some of the golden lining so i think i have to do it once again so i'm going to use my 261 metallic gold camel glass liner and yes redo the lining part once again and yeah then I'll show you the final look. So now friends, here is our coloring part finally completed and this is how beautiful it has come up. I'm going to show you the close up view of it. This is the close up view and you can clearly see the beautiful shading we have done and which is very clearly appearing and the golden liner complements our painting. For varnishing a plate decor like this, we have really got quite many options. You can either use a Liquitex professional gloss varnish or you can also use a commonly available adhesion promoter for glass which I use for varnish on decors like this. And if you don't get this commonly available thick varnish, you can also mix hardener and resin these are the loosely available bottles in the art shop i have bought them newly so what you have to do is mix hardener and resin in a single container in equal quantities and use it as a varnish for your decors this time we are going to do the hardener and resin varnish so this is my container i'm going to pour one spoon of a resin and one spoon of hardener this is the quantity I require so I have poured it. Close them both. Close both the bottles immediately. Keep it aside. Now using a brush which is quite old brush and you are not going to use it in future. So you have to mix both hardener and resin. Mix them very well. While mixing the solutions you will notice that it is turning thick. And it is very important that there are no bubbles in it now it is completely ready so either you can pour it on the painting or using a brush just spread it be sure that there are no bubbles this is going to give your painting a very good and glossy look and it is going to protect it from dust and every other natural things you get quite enough time to spread it evenly on your paintings So now our varnishing is finally completed so we have to let this part get dry for about a day leave it in such a place where there is no dust or no hair nothing which can disturb your painting or spoil it so i'm going to place it for a whole day and then i'll show you how does it looks okay 
Our varnish is finally completed and if you observe you can clearly see the glossy look which has come on our painting as I have kept it for a day to let it get dry. So friends this is the final look of our beautiful plate decor. So please do give it a try, make it yourself and tell me in the comments below friends how did you find this video and if you did like this video friends please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. After making the plate decor, the biggest question was how to hang it on wall. For that, either you can use a two-side tape. This is quite a broad two-side tape. And if your plate is made up of plastic and it is quite lightweight, you can definitely use a two-side tape. Just cut them in pieces and paste it on the back of your plate. Remove the second layer. This is second layer which is very sticky. And directly stick it on your wall. Okay, so this is the first thing you can do or else you can use again a tape but you'll also need wire. You can take thick wire, thicker than this one at least. Wrap it around your finger if your wire is quite thin in this way. Then tuck the edge of wire so that you may get a hook kind of structure okay, in this way. Okay, then use a masking tape cut a very very long piece of it insert it from the same wire which you have around then place it on the center of your plate this way. and now start adding this kind of strips of tape vertically on that tape you have placed before which is going to hold on the hook very tightly you can add it from this part till this part that is your choice so now you can hang your plate on the wall with the help of this hook 